Ten years ago, Maggie and I walked into Hadassah Hospital after my diagnosis of terminal stage four metastatic melanoma. And we were greeted by Dr. Michal Lotem, the head of immunotherapy. And she offered us hope, hope in the form of an adoptive cell vaccination, where she pioneered a treatment, where she took, takes a cell, a healthy cancer cell, multiplies it by billions, and re-injects it back into my body, causing a civil war that only kills cancer cells, doesn't affect my organs, didn't affect my tissues. And here I am 10 years later, here before you to talk about it, to tell you what an amazing institution Hadassah is, what a caring and loving place it is, and what a difference it makes, not only in our lives, but it makes for the lives of the entire world. Hadassah is at the forefront of medical research. And what they do, they take their research from the bench right to the bed. So in other words, the scientists work in the lab and they walk over to the hospital and they treat patients and they heal patients, they prolong lives, they save lives and they save families. And we are so thankful for what Hadassah has done for us, for our family, and for the countless other people that pass through those doors. Over a million people a year are treated at Hadassah. And Hadassah doesn't turn away anyone. They treat everyone equally, fairly, compassionately. And Hadassah is probably the finest institution in the world. Over the last 10 years, Maggie and I have spoken about Hadassah's miraculous deeds. And we've thankfully been able to connect certain people with Hadassah who've been able to get treated at Hadassah and also confer with the doctors there. We know that our work has saved lives and we know that the people who we speak with and touch, all of you save lives. By being a Hadassah member, by being an ambassador for Hadassah, you make a difference. And the world is a better place because of you.